Hey guys, what's up? So last week, I promised you guys I would do a video of me using an airbrush machine. Oh, this should be interesting. The only time I ever used an airbrush machine was on my mom, and it was hers, and I was like, Where'd you get those things? Just like in some dusty little corner. And, uh, I'm like, let's... Let's do this. It was like dripping down her face. Now, with that being said, I have not touched this thing yet, other than taking it out of the box and looking at it. So I guess I literally touched it, but I haven't used it is what I'm trying to say. The model that I got, or I guess the brand, is the Airbrush Makeup System from Luminous Air. Inside we have the machine. It's super cute, attached with the cord that looks like this is where you put the liquid. And this is, I think you hold it like this actually, and you push this button or something. Watch DVD first. We're not going to do that. And then you have your outlet plug-in. It does come with a DVD, which is really nice for people who obviously haven't used it and want to know how to use it. So I thought that was really nice and helpful. It also comes with a little manual um, with tons of steps and information about the luminous air. It even says that you can contour. This Is this the new thing? My question is, how full coverage can I get this baby? Can I cover up these scars? Can I cover up this acne? Can I cover up this redness? We about to find out. So it came with two shades of foundation. Whoever sent this to me chose... Um, Looks like they chose shade 3, and this is shade 4. Obviously two very different colors. This one's a lot more yellow, and this one's a lot more tan. These colors I feel like are pretty far off. Yellow is probably more my color because I'm very yellow toned, and this one's like maybe in the summer when I'm a lot tanner. And then along with that, it also came with a blush. And this is in the color Soft Rose. And then it also came with a highlighter. Well, it says Hydrating Illuminator. So I'm assuming that that is a highlighter. I'm excited. Okay, so I guess I should probably read a little bit of the manual since I'm not going to watch the DVD. Very hygienic. Never touches your face, unlike your hands, sponges, and brushes. That's very true. Light to maximum coverage, giving a natural finish. I can't wait to see how much maximum we can get. Gives the look of natural, beautiful skin. Flawless skin. So, basically, if this works out, it says that it's pretty much the perfect foundation. Oh, it's got a little... This goes in here. How nifty is that? Oh, wait. Yeah. Ha! Fancy. I already have eyebrows on. I decided not to put any other uh, makeup on, like my eyes because I was like what if I spray foundation all over it so it says to shake it very well for a minimum of five to ten seconds <whistles> I am about to turn this baby on I can't really show you again oh so you can definitely hear it it's, it's kind of loud oh my gosh this is so weird <whistles> I think it would be a good idea for people to practice with this like just with the air just like supposed to push this little button forwards to get the foundation out and I'm assuming the further you push it the more open the hole is ensure each layer is dry before the next okay good to know apply a light oil free moisturizer before applying your foundation okay hey guys I don't know if this is oil free but I decided to get my drunk elephant cream I'm gonna apply like six drops. Okay, I'm turning it on. Wait, are you supposed to plug the hole? Wait, what is happening? Oh my god, I had it backward. <laughs> this is too much. This is why people watch the DVD. Oh, I feel something. See some yellow. Ah! I keep making my hand go too close to my face. Mm. 
So I used all six drops. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a noob. This is six drops. So I think what I'm gonna do actually is just do half of my face and compare it to this side. I'm gonna put like eight drops in here this time. Round two. All right, so you can definitely see the difference. I'm very pale over here and this is very yellow. Um, definitely too yellow for me. Um, it's hard to kind of pinpoint where the spray is going because like above my eyebrows it's all white. Um, and I'm going to try to get more of my eye here um, while it dries down. It is still a little bit wet. My pores are still very existent. If I was going to wear this out, I would definitely have to color my neck. We are going to go for one more layer. I'm going to put eight more drops in. Alright, so I've just finished the third layer. So what's eight plus eight plus six? 22 drops on my left side, not including my neck. I mean, I tried to put a little bit on my neck, but my face is obviously still dark. People with super nice skin would really like this, but I think it honestly accentuates my pores. And I tried to go over these a million times, but it still ends up being a little bit streaky and it is hard to get places like around your eye or like in your nose. It is very hard because it's air. You can't see it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and finish off my face with this um, shade number three. And then we're going to go ahead and try to contour with shade number four. So basically I should just put 22 drops in here. <laughs> this is so far what my face is looking like. Kind of like an Oompa Loompa. I was kind of starting to think it looked good and then I'm like, oh God, it's so orange. <laughs> but I do think it's luminous. So the luminous air idea of it is true. Oh my God. Is that like smooth outable? You know what? I think we should do one more layer. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try to contour. We're gonna put shade four in there. And I don't think I'm gonna put too much of this in here because I'm scared. It looks like blush. Oh my God. It is very pinkish, but I think we can make it work. Should I contour my nose? <laughs> I want a little heavy um, on the cheeks, but it also is like very red-ish pink. So I don't think it goes really well with my foundation. You guys, I'm so stupid. There was a, a cap cover in here and like for this and I it kept splatting out and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Okay, so obviously we're gonna do the blush. <laughs> And we're not going to do very much. I'm only going to put like a drop in here. Oh, this one's very wet. This obviously it needs to dry. This one's um, a lot waterier. I think we're all dried up now. We are going to go with highlighter as if we need anything else. I'm only going to use like Three drops of this, four, four drops of this. Put the damn cap on here. This reminds me of how I used to do my makeup. Huh. <laughs> very orange, very cakey. I will say the highlight uh, or glow looks really good. So I might use that like over my regular foundation routine because I feel like that would look really good. It's like very natural, dewy. Um, I just think maybe um, the colors are off. I think I might actually like it if the colors are right, but it's just too hard in my opinion and it's very time consuming. Oh, you guys. Oh, it accentuates everything. 
Don't think I will be using this regularly and still very tacky. I could not just go out like this because I hate when my face feels like wet. I'll give you guys a up close and final look here. I'm gonna go ahead and see what happens really quick what when I set this foundation. Setting it definitely takes a lot of the shine away. It does look a lot better when you set it. It looks a lot more natural and it does feel less tacky but it does feel like I'm wearing a mask. Alright you guys, I decided to take you outside. I have it at a higher angle right now because it just looks best. When I have it down here, it's you just can't really see it as good. So, I mean, you can see it. It's orange as hell. But, yeah, this is what it's looking like. All my pores in their glory. All right, you guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial because I enjoyed it a lot. I think I might pick this thing back up a few times to play with it because it was a lot of fun, but just very time consuming and just not for my skin. I think it could look very good on somebody with no pores and no acne. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Give me your, give me your, give me your.